Hello all. In this video, I will solve few problems on common mode rejection ratio. You know that it is one of the parameters of OPAM. Common mode rejection ratio for ideal OPAM will be infinite. As I discussed in the class, it is an ability of an OPAM to reject the common mode signal is known as common mode rejection ratio, which is expressed as CMRR as well as it is defined as the ratio of differential gain to the common mode gain. So the CMRR is given by CMRR is equal to AD divided by AC where AD can be a differential gain or we can call this one as open loop gain. AC is equal to AC refers to the common mode gain which is equal to AC is equal to V0 divided by VCM where V0 is the output of the op amp where VCM represents the common mode input which we had applied. So here the CMRR it can be expressed in decibel scale which is given by CMRR in decibel which is equal to 20 log of AD divided by AC where I can write this equation as which is equal to 20 log of modulus of AD divided by AC. Okay, uh, this modulus rep refers to this gain cannot be negative. So for 741IC, CMRR is 90 dB. Now I will solve few problems on CMRR. I'm going to consider a certain OPAM as an open loop differential gain of 1 into 10 to the power of 5. They are given AD that is open loop differential gain which they are given as 1 into 10 to the power of 5 as well as they have given the common mode gain that is AC which is equal to 0 0.2. We know that for ideal op amp the differential gain will be infinite. So we are considered 10 into 10 to the power of 5. Then uh, the common mode gain of an ideal op amp will be 0. So we are considered around 0 0.2. We need to calculate CMRR as well as we need to express the CMRR in dB. So let us calculate this. So we know that CMRR is given by which is equal to AD divided by AC. We know the value of AD that is 1 into 10 to the power of 5. The AC is equal to 0 0.2. If you solve this one we are going to get 5 into 10 to the power of 5. So this is CMR. CMRR is equal to 5 into 10 to the power of 5. Again, we know that uh, for ideal op-amp, the CMRR will be infinite. So for practical op-amp, it is 10 to the power of 5. Let us express now CMRR in dB, which is equal to 20 into log of AD divided by AC and we know that we had calculated the ratio AD divided by AC which is equal to what 5 into 10 to the power of 5 which is equal to 20 into log of 5 into 10 to the power of 5. If we solve this one we are going to get 113.97 dB which it can be approximated to 114 dB. So this is how we are going to calculate the CMRR as well as CMRR in decibel from the given data. Okay, uh, let us solve another problem now. So here I am going to consider the same example. So there they have given the differential gain as AD is equal to 1 into 10 to the power of 5 and they had given the common mode gain AC is equal to 0 0.2 then we calculated CMRR in decibel so I'm going to uh, in decibel which is equal to 114 dB now think that they had given AD value and they had given CMRR in decibel we need to calculate AC we don't know the value of AC they asked to calculate the value of common mode gain let us find out the value of AC now so we know that CMRR in decibel which is equal to 20 into log of AD divided by 
AC, which implies what is CMR and decibel is equal to one one four, so one one four, which is equal to twenty into log of what is AD one into ten to the power of five divided by AC. Now I am going to take a uh, twenty two LHS. So here I am going to get one one four divided by twenty, which is equal to log of log to the base ten log one into ten to the power of five divided by AC. This implies so you have one 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 four divided by twenty will be five point seven, which is equal to log ten. So one into ten to the power of five divided by AC. Now, in order to find out the value of AC, we are going to take anti-log, right? So here we are going to get ten to the power of five point seven, which is which will be equal to one into ten to the, one into ten to the power of five divided by AC. Okay. So this log and anti-log will get cancelled. So we are going to get the equation. The equation will be reduced like this. Next, after that, uh, this now I'm going to take AC uh, to the LHS side. So here uh, I'm going to take this AC, and here I'm going to take to the denominator that is 10 to the power of 5.7 to the denominator. This AC will be equal to 1 into 10 to the power of 5 divided by 10 to the power of 5.7. So if you solve this one. We are going to get AC will be equal to zero point one nine nine, which is approximately equal to zero point two. Now we have to find the value of common mode gain. For the same problem, think that think that they have given they have given the input. Think that they have given the uh, common mode input which we are going to apply. The common mode input applied. To this op amp is equal to eight into cos fifty t, and they asked to calculate V out. Think that they have given this one, and they asked to calculate V out. We know that the common mode gain of an op amp, which is equal to A C is equal to V out divided by V C M. So here we need to calculate V not. So here this implies V not is equal to AC into VCM. What is AC? We have calculated that it is zero point two, and what is VCM? VCM will be equal to one. They are given uh, common mode that is eight, right? Eight, uh, eight cos eight cos fifty t. If I do this one, I am going to get which is equal to one point six cos. Fifty t. So this is the output voltage. I will get. So this is the V out, and uh, this is a common mode gain which I have calculated. This is the output V out. So this is about uh, the problems of common mode rejection ratio.